Apart from the fact that the Federal High Court in Abuja has already validated the National Convention held in March, there are other persons who have equally challenged the convention of the party. And these cases are as follows. The lists are here and you can see them. It is therefore trite in our laws that once cases are pending in court, parties are to maintain status quo at them in order not to destroy the rest. In this case, IMEC is expected to maintain the status quo ante in order not to destroy the rest of the party. IMEC is expected not to descend into the arena of conflict, but to continue with its neutrality and work cordially with the recognized leadership of the party until the courts state otherwise. Twelve. The National Working Committee must also state, in addition, that the Labour Party is different from other political parties in the sense that it is not a party that is controlled by one man, nor one woman, nor one leader. Neither is it a party that can be put in the pockets of one person. It is a party for the generality of the people. It is for these reasons it was possible to record the successes it made in the 2023 general election. The outlook of the party made it possible for people like Dr. Alex Oti to use the platform of the party and win the general election in 2023. After trying and failing in APC, PDP, and even APGA. Therefore, the ideology, principles, ideas, and outlook of the party must be maintained at all costs. It is a party for the peasants, the downtrodden, the poor, the oppressed, and those who indeed want genuine change and good governance for the people of Nigeria. I must state and conclude here with the quote from Chino Achebe, Things Fall Apart, where he said, let the ego perch and let the kite perch also. In Labour Party, we are not troublemakers as people are trying to paint, as people try to perceive. We accommodated everybody in the party and provided our platform for people to use. We provided that accommodation, we accommodated them, we assisted them, and today, we have a lot of elected officers. We, the party is big enough to accommodate all interests. The party is large enough to accommodate diverse opinion. And that's why at this level, we have been very professional in our approach to issues. We have been very dispassionate in the manner and the way we deal with issues. So we are not fighting anybody. Since after the general election, I need to make this clarification, the party executive and the party leadership have been under attack. What we have done since after the general election is for us to defend ourselves. We have never started any attack on any person or any group of persons. If you look at the struggle we have faced since after the general election, none, none, none has ever been initiated by the leadership of the party. Rather, it is people attacking and fighting the leadership of the party. So what we have done for the past few months is for us to defend ourselves. And this is precisely what we are doing. I must state that the party is open to all Nigerians to express themselves. The platform is available. It's an alternative to others. And we are prepared to defend the integrity of the party. We, are, we intend to defend the interest of all our members. If the interest of any elected officers is in conflict, is under attack, I can assure you that we'll be all over the place to defend those interests. So we want to appeal to our colleagues that they should concentrate on governance and allow us manage 
the political 